football throughout uh, the close season period since the World Cup finals and they fought particularly well when you consider they've got Dumitrescu and Klinsmann and Jurgen Klinsmann here scoring one of the goals of the World Cup and they paid less for him than they sold Vinny Samways their midfield player to Liverpool club Everton and wonders who's got the better deal. From our point of view, we are delighted to, to have signed uh, Ili Dimitrescu to obviously big, big welcome to Tottenham Hotspur. And Spurs manager, Ozzy Ardiles. He's a player I have been following for quite a long, long time. He's, uh, I believe he's a superb player, extremely, extremely talented, and I would like to wish him all the very best in, in Tottenham, and I'm sure that he will be a big, big success here. Well, Dimitrescu of course came onto the scene with explosive talent in the World Cup here scoring one of the goals of the tournament as Hadji found him and he finished it off so well and Tottenham fans who have been rocked by their sides position that they'll have to start the Premiership with a six-point deficit because of financial irregularities now have real hope with these two world-class players coming to join them in their quest for the Premiership title. Well, Dumitrescu was uh, brought out onto the uh, pitch at White Hart Lay. Huge uh, media interest and uh, certainly the volume of players from the World Cup final as you've moved into the English League this summer, particularly these two Romanians and uh, Jurgen Klinsmann. And it's easy to see why there's a general feeling of... Uh, Optimism. And Jurgen Klinsmann himself has come to White Hot Lane. He'll be attracting a lot of early media interest. Does that worry you? Um, maybe, maybe, uh, Sorry, maybe I can, I can ask the first question. I just wanted to ask if there's any diving school in London. Uh, so I heard a few stories there about it. Now it's up to you. Guys. Please go ahead. Well, I wonder whether yeah. Jürgen Klinsmann really does uh, feel surprised about the media no, hate campaign about. against him for the diving. I mean, I don't know these people, if they take it so serious. But if it's really serious, then uh, then maybe I, I can even invite them for a couple of beers and uh, they show me then the tapes uh, where it happened, where I dived before. I don't remember these kind of situations. Well, Jürgen Klinsmann has been an inspired signing from Spurs chairman Alan Sugar, who deserves great credit, along with Tottenham manager Ozzy Ardiles, for bringing these two players from the World Cup into the English Premier League. Klinsmann's introduction, well, it certainly gained a lot of interest in Britain. There was actually a lot going on after the World Cup. I mean, I was called from a couple of clubs, also during the World Cup, and... Uh, I came back then from my vacation in America and uh, Mr. Sugar, he had already the contact with my lawyer. But uh, the first club who called me was Genoa in Italy. So I said, for being fair, first I talked to Genoa, I talked to them. And uh, they talked and they, afterwards they said, you know, they have to wait always a day longer. And uh, uh, I said then, I want to talk to Mr. Sugar, I want to talk about Tottenham, I'm very interested in it, but I have first to know his ideas, you know, and uh, I was not that good informed, and uh, so I informed myself, and we were talking, and it was a very interesting conversation, and uh, more and more I was thinking about coming over to London, then was also the city London, it uh, gives me kind of an international atmosphere, and uh, and it got more and more, more serious, the whole story. Then it was coming up also Atletico Madrid, but uh, they were always uh, discussing about money. It was always every day different. And uh, then, then I just took a decision. And, uh, and I'm actually, I'm very excited. I'm, uh, it's something totally new for me. It's gonna be a totally new experience for me here in England. And I mean, uh, I grew up watching English football on TV in Germany and it was always exciting watching the games and uh, I mean for me it's uh, something special after Italy, after France, having the opportunity to come over here 
and that I could, that I have the possibility to play for such a traditional club as Tottenham Hotspur, because the name is uh, is still a big name in Europe. Yeah. Well, Klinsmann looking forward to the challenge of playing for Tottenham, and judging by the initial reaction in North London, the supporters looking forward to welcoming him to White Hart Lane. And so to Nike's Premier Cup, which is about to start again this weekend, sees the second Nike Premier Cup. It's a big pan-European tournament for the under-14 teams from 17 countries with more than a 1,000 clubs involved. The best 15 play with the host team for the tournament. And last year, Ajax were the host team. And this year, well, it may come to Paris with Paris Saint-Germain. Well, in Amsterdam last year, the final was between Ajax and Porto on May the 22nd. And Porto were to dominate with Tiana, the top scorer. Real name, uh, Manuel Correra. He won a trip to America. 14 goals in the tournament throughout. The young darling of Porto, born in October 1979. Already been playing five years for the Junior Porto team. Some tremendous skill being shown by the youngsters. And a tremendous atmosphere generated by the first Nike Premier Cup. Well, this weekend, all the action will start around Europe. We'll Keep informed of how it goes and hope to see some of these stars from the second Nike Premier Cup coming through to make the grade at the top level. Ajax and Porto then providing us with an excellent final last year. One man in particular, it was one he'll always remember when he grows up. Great performance from the youngsters of Porto. Tignara, the hero. Until the same time next week on Eurogoals. I hope you enjoy the show. More action from France and the rest of Europe next week. Was brought to you on Eurosport by Peugeot.